um, it was a really unique experience actually. I've been in publishing for 10 years and I've never seen so much love for and focus on one book from the entire team, from everybody in every department, not a single voice of dissent, everyone just loves the book and loves Joe so much. Um, everyone's been giving a Pisani effect to having 10% through it. Um, and the warmth and enthusiasm that everybody here feels towards the book and towards Joe has definitely transmitted through to retailers and now to journalists, amazing reviews, and actual real readers from out in the wild. <laughs> um, but most importantly, and the main point of tonight is that this kind of thing doesn't happen very often and it can't happen without a brilliant book and a tireless author, and we've got both. Um, the reason everyone loves this book is that it's genuine and warm and human and hilarious and everyone who's met Jo loves her for the same reason. So I will stop embarrassing her now. Um, she's raising a glass to goats and sheep and Jo. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know I was doing this till about three o'clock. Um, and I was going to wait out and taxi over here, but the taxi driver wouldn't shut up, so I couldn't plan what to say. So thank you so much for coming here tonight to celebrate all things goats and sheep. Um, I know some of you come a long way and I really, really appreciate all the, um, the effort you've made. I'm very grateful. I've got to take Harper College to this amazing location. I think this view is possibly the only place where you can feel hugely significant and usually insignificant all at the same time. <laughs> um, I think drawing up a guest list for an launch party is a very stressful thing, as I'm sure a lot of you know. And when Harper Collins first asked me who I'd like to invite, I decided it should be all the people who have shown me an act of kindness. And there are many, many acts of kindness in this room. And there are huge acts of kindness. There's Sue Armstrong, who is around here somewhere. There she is, my wonderful agent, who is not only a brilliant agent and the best agent in the whole wide world, but she's also one of the loveliest, most thoughtful people you're gonna hope to meet, as I'm sure all of you know who know her. Um, there's Katie Espiner, who is there because I spotted her. And Katie, later this borough, um, was the person who found me and found 5,000 words of a story I'd written which was sloshing around on my laptop and she gave me the courage to carry on writing it, so a huge thank you to her. Um, thank you so much to the Borough Press, um, to Cassie and Charlotte and Susie who make the job of being an author a very, very easy one. And the whole of Harper Collins who are an incredible team and I feel very privileged to be the little tiny part of that team. Um, I would name them all individually, but we would be here all night. But I would like to say a very, very special thank you to Anne Bissell. Who is right there? Yeah. <laughs> um, Pulp Sister Extraordinaire, who does everything with breathtaking efficiency, but also does it with incredible compassion and kindness, which is a rare combination. Um, so there are many, many acts of kindness in this room. Um, and. I think some of you know what your act of kindness was and how you helped me, um, but some of you may have absolutely no idea what you did, and you're not a clue. And I think that's the thing about acts of kindness is that the giver might not even notice, but to the recipient it means the whole world. So please know that your kindness and your generosity and your incredible support are stitched through every page of Goats and Sheep, because without them, Grace and Tilly would still be in my head, and the book wouldn't exist. Um, I wrote Goats and Sheep because of the patients that I met. And there are people here tonight who know exactly who those patients are. Um, and I wrote it because these are people who spend their lives being ridiculed, and humiliated, and blamed, and ignored. And I wanted to write them a story. And they possibly go through life never knowing the kind of generosity that you show me. And they may never experience even a small act of kindness. And you can only imagine how that must feel. Um, so I have a little daydream because writers like to have little daydreams. And my little daydream is perhaps one of the patients may see goats and sheep in the newspaper or a magazine or in a Waterstones window. And they might realise who the author is and they might think, oh, that's Dr. Joe. Um, and they might know that I wrote the book because of them and because of all the people who stand at the edge of the dance floor not knowing how to join in. 
um, and then they would know that actually writing goats and sheep was my act of kindness towards them. So thank you very much for coming. Sharpen up the cannon, I'm getting emotional. <laughs> thank you very much for coming and for all your support and for your incredible and amazing acts of kindness. Thank you very much.